Uh, hey, everybody, this is uh, Penn Gillette, uh, Penn, Penn and Teller. And uh, I like to read, you know, mostly I read, um, I, read, uh, uh, I read a lot of science stuff, language stuff, and I read novels and try to force myself to read novels. But my buddy, uh, Stephen Fry, uh, wrote a book uh, about poetry that took me uh, 10 years to get through uh, because I did every single exercise. Uh, and uh, it's a fabulous book. And uh, I also corresponded with Stephen Fry and um, about my poetry. And I tried to write some stuff, but uh, I got to reading it more. So every night when I read in the bathtub, which I do on my Kindle, I always read a, a few poems. And um, I got to tell you, uh, I don't find anything that really hits me direct. Uh, I'm always trying to understand it, putting through the filter of, of form and structure and trying to get to the guts. But I found out about this um, wicked libertine poet who goes by the name of Arthur Greenleaf Holmes. And you will not find Arthur Greenleaf Holmes on Kindle. Um, but it's from, uh, he was writing mostly in the mid-19th century. And his poems speak directly to my heart. And I found out about him with another friend. I don't mean to imply that all my friends are English. I know some Americans too. But John Cleese recited one of these poems. And I decided to sniff around and on Google, see what other stuff this Holmes guy had written. And I discovered uh, this collector. I wanted the real poem, you know, the real poem that, uh, that uh, you know, uh, Greenleaf Holmes himself had, had touched. So I, uh, I found a collector of uh, weird and um, very rare and, uh, well, let's say transgressive, let's be polite, transgressive poetry. And I bought the damn thing. And a week later, it was delivered to my house personally by a man wearing a yellow hazmat suit. And the envelope containing the poem, uh, I had, you know, usually when you give something valuable, you get um, white gloves, but this was sent with a pair of rubber gloves and for good and sufficient reason. And uh, I, I put a dab of eucalyptus ointment uh, under my nose and I pulled out the poem and um, here it is. It's, <laughs> it's a seafaring work with echoes of uh, Coleridge, Blake, uh, Nimoy. Uh, I think uh, Stephen Fry will be very happy that he's brought me uh, to this uh, to this point. Uh, so here you go, uh, ready to go. It's called uh, She Shanty by Arthur Greenleaf Holmes. She Shanty. As I bestrode the Pembroke Green one morning undefiled, I spied my love in fast approach, and oh, her eyes were wild. Oh, take me to the water's edge to ply the bonny waves. I'll go no more upon this land that such as I enslaves. I took her to the water's edge, whereupon we met a man who asked, What vessel wouldst thou board to take thee from this land? What fanciest thou, my restless love, yon schooner full with sail? Oh, nay, quoth she, tis that I crave, and lo, my cheek turned pale, for yon she stood as crude a craft as e'er the seas did float. Twas then I knew my love was moved to board a pedal boat. A pedal boat, my hasty lass, bet'st thou to sail us on? A fucking pedal boat, my love, shaped like a fucking swan? She'd hear no more my loud complaint, and thus we two embarked. She sweet reclined neath parasol, and I to do the work. How long, my love, how long, I say, how long have we this raft? Quoth she, you paid for hours three to rent this pedal craft. Three fucking hours, thy perfume grunt, three fucking hours have we? Forsooth, twas what I thought, but nay, I kept such thoughts to me. In senseless circles pedal I, in circles high and yawn. In witless arcs I pedaled her upon that fucking pond. Upon the docks, along the shore, I bore the taunts of men. Behold, cried they, the fearsome ship, the SS Estrogen.
Now months have passed and still I hear the whispers through the town. There goes the man who left his manhood dangling ten leagues down. A swan, be ribboned, came this morn, a gift upon the dawn. I have no mind for such a jest. I shot the fucking swan. So fare thee well, how stay to land, the water brings remorse. I'll go no more to ply the waves. I'll buy a fucking horse.